What is good, my people? Today, I have an exciting video for you all. We're going to be talking about quests, items you can get from quests, if you can sell those items for Jewel, and what's my thought process around DeFi Kingdoms as a new player. Now, whatever I say today is not financial advice. I'm probably not the best person to listen to, but as a new player, you might be experiencing the same thought processes. So enjoy the video. Now, before I go into the content, I just want to say thank you for all the support. I think we reached 400 subscribers, y'all. I'm hyped. You know, as a new content creator, um, it really helps when people leave their opinions, thought process, and ask, you know, questions. So I appreciate all the love. Now let's get back to the video. Now I'm using an app or website called DFK Tracker, and this will just track all of the items that we get through questing. Now, as you guys can see over here, in the past, I'm gonna say 12 days, I've earned about 825 US dollars if I liquidate everything. But I wanna go through my first few quests as I built on more heroes over time. So let me go to the last page. He says two weeks ago, it's about 12 days or so. You can see my first quest I went on and made 44 cents. Then I made 34 cents. Then I made close to a dollar. Then I made $2. So if you're just buying a hero for the sake of questing for money, it's probably not the best ROI unless you get a ruby rare item. Um, but look, we should be grateful because most NFTs out there don't produce any income. But the reason why I'm leveling these heroes up is because I believe that the store value of heroes may be more expensive later on. And as you level up these heroes later on, you'll be able to go on different specific quests that may yield better items. And this is all speculation right now, but the game is very new, which means that we have an opportunity to speculate and make some moves. And if we're right, we can get rewarded heavily. Now, as you guys can see, I start off with one guy, then I had two heroes. Um, and then if I go back one page, I grabbed my third hero. And this is where I got the egg. And an egg is essentially a, a pet that you can't hatch it yet. Um, like I said, the, the features are very really new. So right now, the price of an egg is about $537. And I can't even sell this egg yet. However, there is like a black market out there where people can trade these items, but you got to be careful about that. Now, if I go to my most recent um, update over here, I currently have about six heroes and collectively I've gotten about $800. Now, if we minus the egg from this total revenue, we're looking at about $300 across 11 days. Okay, and now I know the, the numbers won't be super accurate because I, I didn't start with six, I started with one. However, that, those are the figures right now. Okay, now with these items, all right, inside my inventory. Okay, we had a range of different items. If you go on fishing quest, you get fishing items. What does that mean? You might get some fish over here. All right, this one's worth like $2 each. This one's worth like 11 cents each. So they range. Um, but all quests give you the opportunity to also get better items. Now we have something called a Sh uh, Shavad's Rune. And these runes over here are quite high in demand because when you level up your hero, you also need to um, give these Shiva's runes as well. Okay, I am thinking I'm about to level up one of my heroes, so I'll show you guys the leveling process as well and what stats to boost and whatnot. And of course, you can get this egg over here. Now, collectively, all right, this is what I'm looking at. Now, these items, okay, once you get them, they're inside your inventory, and you can trade these items for gold. Now, gold is also another in-game currency where in the future, you can buy different types of items. So right now, um, you can make like stamina potions. So for heroes, they burn stamina when they go on quests. So some people are buying stamina potions to refill it, to you know push them to go on more quests. 
Now let's go to the marketplace real quick and I'll show you guys how to sell these items if you want to. We have a vendor in the marketplace that holds all of your items and you can sell your items right here. All right, I can sell one of these guys for a hundred gold. So I got this from a foraging quest. All right, these are the leaves over here. You'll get a lot of like ragweed from foraging and this is only 2.5 gold. It's not $2.5, it's 2.5 gold. Okay, um, and of course, all these items will have use cases in the future. So everyone here is, is on the, the bench, you know, like do we sell it for gold or do we keep it for future use cases? For me personally, this isn't much for me. So I'm not gonna sell them all and or anything. Um, that's just kind of my game plan. But you can also sell, uh, uh, I'll give you guys an example, right? A gold vein is worth 100 gold. Now I can sell this directly for Harmony 1 or Jewel. So over here, let's say um, gold vein. All right, one gold vein is worth. Let's go um, in USC value. So I have 14 of these, but I'm just going to look at the price of one of them and see how much jewel or, or not we can get. Please, internet, do us YouTube peeps a favor. Fantastic, okay? One of these gold veins will give us 0 0.1 jewel, which is not bad, right? You can get multiple sometimes. Uh, if you guys are wondering how much that is, it's about $2.15. And then, you know, it adds up over time. Right, I can probably buy a whole jewel right now with this, or I can buy 1.6 jewel. So yes, it does build up over time, but I'd say you really want to look at the bigger picture and where your options. The, the reason why I'm leveling, leveling up, up right now is because um, there was a, a news release that there may be profession specific quests. So what, what I mean is that Thieves will be able to go on certain quests. Uh, ninjas will be able to go on certain quests. Pirates will be able to go on certain quests. So as you level them up, right, there may be some quests where you need to be level 10 to go on these quests and you can earn more money there. So right now I'm playing the longer term approach where I'm just leveling them up every single day and seeing where this takes me. But let's go on questing real quick. Okay, uh, we're, going, we're going to go to uh, professions. And over professions, if you use the main site, um, which is game.defikings.com, the only quests that are available are foraging and fishing. Uh, so my, my view is that if you don't have a lot locked up in LP, so you're not providing liquidity inside the gardens, uh, you probably want to focus more on foraging and fishing. However, if you have a lot inside your lock balance you probably don't even need my advice but you probably want to have some miners and gardeners right so all these guys do different uh, or have different use cases in the game remember before how we spoke about locked balance over here when we provide liquidity inside DeFi kingdoms we're not going to get the whole thing at once some of that liquidity is locked so we can send out miners to go on these quests and bring back or unlock some of these locked balances. So recently, okay, miners have been increasing a lot in price because the quest just released. Now you can't go on mining quests and gardening quests on the main site. You need to go on the beta version, which is completely safe. Everyone actually plays there, but I have no use case to even go there right now. So I'm just gonna go to foraging quests. Now I'll show you guys um, what's happening over here. Well, foraging quests, okay, you can send out any hero on any quest. However, there are advantages and disadvantages depending on the profession on the hero you're sending. What I mean is, right now I have a wizard, okay? If I flip my card, um, my wizard is, the, the main profession is foraging. So if I send a foraging profession to a foraging quest, it costs five stamina, okay? 
if I send, let's say, my ninja to a foraging quest, let's flip the card one more time. Okay, my fish, uh, sorry, my ninja is a fishing main. So it would cost me seven stamina for my fishing main to go on to a foraging quest. So it's actually much better or more efficient to send out foraging professions to foraging quests because it's more efficient, right? I mean, over here, um, if you look at the st stamina bar, uh, the lowest is 25. So when a hero has full stamina, you can send them out on five quests at a time. But if I sent my wizard, which has a foraging profession to our fishing quest, I can only send them out three times, all right, which is 40% less efficient. So also one thing, um, each stamina automatically refills itself every 20 minutes. So if I send out my, my wizard right now to go on a, a quest um, and I go to sleep for eight hours, I can come back and it's replenished, okay? One more tip, I know I'm just dumping all these things to you guys. Maybe you know this, maybe you don't, but I think most of the players here are new. Also, you can you guys can see that my XP bar is almost filled, right? Once this reaches 4,000, I can level up my wizard from a level three to a level four, but I need to also pay in Shivers Rune and stuff like that. I'll go through that after I, I go into this quest. But the awesome thing is that once I level it up, the stamina bar is immediately replenished. So I'm going to take this guy on a quest right now. I should level up. And then once I level him up, we're going to go on another quest because the stamina bar is going to be refilled, okay? Hopefully this is making sense so far. But let's send these guys out on um, these, these quests. Look, my stamina bar isn't full right now, but I can send them out on four quests, okay? So right now I have four forages and two fishes. So I'm going to go ahead. Each of these heroes can go on four quests each right now. So I'm going to begin the quest. And approximate time is 9.20. So I'm not sitting here slaying dragons for nine minutes. Okay. I'm simply sending them out. Then I'm going to wait nine minutes. I'll come back to my stream. And then that's it, right? I get my items. Hopefully... Hopefully, Harmony One Network is up and running and we can get our quest going. Now, as that's loading, I'm going to send my other two fishes on their fishing quest right now. Can you guys see how when I send my fisher to a fishing quest, it costs five stamina because that's its profession, okay? I'm going to begin quest. And let's pray it loads. <laughs> the Harmony Network has been lagging lately because of a lot of congestion, a lot of new players, and a lot of other projects as well. That's really helping the network boom. Okay, we're going to accept this. And it'll be pending. Okay, now form up my fishes. It says B and B, but it's actually Harmony One. My meta marsh just lag sometimes. And so now what's happening, right? My interface now shows that there's active quests. So I'll come back here after nine minutes and I'll collect my prize essentially. And I'll go through that with you all. But for now, okay, as we have time, um, let's actually talk about something else real quick. Now over here, the meditation circle. This is where you can level up your heroes. Okay. Now I, I want to bring up a very important, very important um, document or file that you should, guys should be familiar with. And and over here, right? This is just a tool for us to kind of see which heroes are better for which professions. Now, when I first started, the leveling part and the summoning part really didn't come right away. I spent hours and hours learning this. Uh, and now I have a decent sense, but I'm not completely there yet. But right now you can see, okay, when we're leveling up heroes, it also costs. So that's one fact you need to consider as well. My wizard is a level three right now. 
I'm about to turn him to level four. So I need to spend two Shiva's runes. Now, Shiva's runes, they're about 20 US dollars each. So for me to level him up, it costs $40 right now and 0.2 jewel or something. So let's say $45 to level him up. Now, why would I level him up? The thing is, when you level up your heroes, you get boosted stats. Okay, what does that mean? What does that mean? Okay, it means that there are certain classes that get uh, better stats, and these stats will help us with quests, and in the future, it will also help us with PvP, which is player versus player, or player versus environment. And that's where you can go on and probably kill some goblins and some, some dragons and stuff like that. Now, I may need to do another video if you guys are interested in that. But like I said, if you, uh, if you guys want to uh, learn more about this, I do have a few um, people I consistently watch. The first one is Drake on digital. This guy is really passionate about the game, man. I've got to give, give this guy a quick plug real quick. Drake on digital is good at this. Uh, also like Tosh. Uh, I think Crypto with Tosh. Man, this guy's like the most down-to-earth guy, provides a ton of value. So I would recommend going to this guy as well. Uh, Tosh, if you're watching this, man, shout out to you. You're probably not, but hey, if you are, then yeah. So my mind is going to a lot of places right now, but this is something you need to really understand as well as a new player. And this will help your quest as well. Now, the thing is, when you look at this right now you can see for fishes okay the best fish fishes will naturally be ninjas don't don't worry about the numbers right now just think of them as um rating from highest to 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 not the best okay so why are ninjas the best because when ninjas naturally level up okay they will have boosted stats so you need good um, luck and agility for your fishing to get better. You can bring back better fishing items. If you have more luck, the, the rate of better items actually come to you much faster. And of course, there's Thieves, Sage, Dragoon, and Dark Knight. All right, of course, the Dark Knight will be better at something else. But for fishing, this is, is it. So as a ninja, what we want to do is we want to you know, if you want to uh, make this ninja uh, good for fishing, you just keep upgrading its luck and agility once it levels up. Same thing as well, right? The best forager we have, I don't have a sage, I don't have a summoner, I don't have this, I don't, have, I have an archer as a forager, which is still pretty good. Okay. So what do I want to do? I might want to level up its dexterity and intelligence, right? Um, so this is just something where you can keep in mind as well that these guys will naturally make the best. And this is where I was in a bit of a pickle, right? I have a thief, I have a thief that does foraging. So look at this. A thief is ranked really low right now for foraging, but it just happens that my thief has that class. So what do I do then? And that's where you need to make some decisions, okay? Do I make this guy, you know, a forager, which he's not really good at? Or can I make him potentially good at PvP and PvE? So I know that I need to develop my dexterity and intelligence for him to go on, uh, for him to get better items from foraging, but that's not, that's not what I'm doing, okay? Let me go, give you guys an example. If you're still here with me right now, guys, I want you to smash the like button and um, just drop a comment, you know? I know this video might be a bit long, but hopefully, you're getting some value with this. Let's go to hero details right now. You can see right now, I have a thief, thief. Its main profession is foraging, but I'm only leveling him up to go on foraging quests so that I can level the other stats. So I'm actually putting more into luck right now because it might bring back better items. Um, I'm putting some into agility and I might put some into vitality. Now, why? Because I think that um, you know, these stats can help him be better at PvP later on. 
So th that's where you need to kind of um, you know, take a moment to analyze the heroes that you have and decide, okay, do I want to make this guy more like a PvP hero or do I want to make this guy um, fo to focus on his quests? So if you guys can see my mix, I'm going to, you know, the best cards can probably do both, all right? But you have some cards as well where you just got to bite the dust and just, you know, settle for what you have. My ninja right here is probably my best card. All right, fishing, main. I got some boosted stats as well on my luck. So I'm leveling up my agility and luck, which also helps with his fishing, which will also help with his PvP and PvE. So this is probably my best hero. And you want some of these guys, but of course they cost a bit much. So that's what I want to talk about. Um, now let's go to the professions and see how many more minutes we have. One minute and 55. I'm going to pause the video and I'll come back once we're, you know, done with the waiting time. Okay, okay. Let's go to our fishing quest. All right, we sent them on four quests each. Let's look at what we got. So we just go to complete quests. Let it load for a bit. Come on, guys. Imagine if we get an egg. If we get one of these eggs, then uh, we are celebrating today. It shouldn't take too, too long. Okay, once it's completed. Okay, guys. You can see my screen right now. This is what you'll typically get. My fishing increase by 0.3. Uh, this one in fishing increased by 0 0.1. So I'll show you guys the stats really soon. Got these bloaters, not worth much. Not too sure how much this one is worth. But that's all we got. Okay. Now let's go to foraging. Active quest. Complete quest. Maybe we can get something better. But this is what I mean now by don't. Go into DeFi Kingdoms expecting to make an immediate return unless you really study. I'd say if you want to look for short-term profits, learn how to flip inside the taverns. Look at what's trending right now and snipe, you know, floor price euros that people want to get rid of and resell it back for a bit more. What did we get here? Complete trash. Okay, so we got... No increase in stats, just a lot of XP drops over here. Okay. So that's what we got. Um, and if we go back to DFK Tracker, it will also show us how much we earned. So these, these were the two quests. All right. This was like 60 or 70 cents. And this one was about a bit more because there's multiple um, of them about a dollar something so today i've made 29 dollars because i did get a rune in the morning so hey not bad for doing nothing and pressing some buttons okay now i know this video is going to be a bit long um and i i didn't plan on doing this but i might anyways so yeah you're free to go by the way but if you want to learn about leveling up your heroes stay back as you guys can see my wizard went um, on a trip just then, now it's 4,000 out of 4,000. So it's max at level three, and I can level him up right now. So what am I going to do? I'm going to level him up. Now, some people don't level up the heroes because they don't want to waste money on Shiver's runes. Okay, so let's go over here. Enter the circle. Add your hero. This is the only one that I can add right now. Oh, this one as well. I can add two right now. Let's level them up, right? And I might be doing this completely wrong. So if you're an experienced player, let me know. Cost two jewel and sorry, 0.3 jewel and two runes. It's $45. Choose a stat bonus. What do I want for sure? Now, this is a foraging, so it's good with decks and intelligence. And intelligence will also be good at PvP later on. Right. Um, why do I notice? Because in their uh, docs, 
All right, if we go to, to intelligence, intelligence adds a multiplier to various actions, especially skills and magic and modifies magic evasion. This also plays how much MP, I think mana is gained when leveling up. So for uh, intelligence and you also want um, dexterity, I don't even know right now. What's the other one? Wisdom, I believe. Wisdom, okay. Adds a multiply to magic attacks and skills increases magic defense. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to wisdom. And for this is giving us a chance to level up. It's not for sure. Um, but intelligence, I might go with dexterity to increase. I'm going to go on wisdom as well. So we're going to go with wisdom. I can't actually go on wisdom again. So intelligence and dexterity. All right. And dexterity. Okay, I'll go on this one like this. Wisdom. Okay, let's begin level up. Don't I have enough jewel? One moment, guys. This is so funny. We are back with some jewel. I'm hoping this video isn't longer than 20 minutes. It probably is. By the way, do you guys like long videos or do you guys like short and individuals? Like one for something, one for this, one for that. Let me know as well um, because I'm still working around things. Let's compete ritual. So my intelligence was definitely increased. Now, okay, let's see what stats are boosted. Hopefully, it's a good one. This is pretty decent, right? Strength was increased. Dexterity was increased. My wisdom, right? So primary, it increased. Then I also had the bonus. Intelligence, unfortunately, didn't increase for the primaries. But because I placed in the bonus, I got it. So I actually got my three bonuses, but my primaries weren't that great. But overall, right, um, this will also get better now. So my dexterity, intelligence, my foraging increase from the quest. So yeah, this is actually really good now. It'll bring, hopefully it brings back better items next time. All right, next one. We got one more, which is my ninja. This is my baby right here. I was thinking of selling it, but I'm not. So for ninjas, okay, let's go back to the stats. Uh, ninjas, I have a fishing ninja. I'm thinking of agility. Agility determines the time between the hero's action and combat. It also plays a role in evasion. So I'm thinking that maybe this is a game where we're doing um, play versus everything or environment. All right, there might be better cooldowns. So instead of taking 10 seconds to activate and act, like activate a spell or something, it might take five. So agility, also luck as well. Uh, might land a critical strike. So this is also talking about PvP and PvE, which isn't released yet. I'm just speculating right now, but that's what we've got to do right now. So what I want to do with this guy is, is this okay? I want to go mostly on luck. I want to go with agility as well. Maybe vitality just for some extra health. Begin level up. Okay, let's see, let's see. Okay, got my luck up there. Let's see, this is good. Okay, okay. Strength, dex, agility. All right, we tried to put a bonus there. We didn't get the bonus, unfortunately. But naturally, ninjas get uh, agility most of the times. Um, all right, wisdom. Not sure. We got wisdom, but whatever. Luck, though. All right, so primary luck is always uh, given for ninjas. Um, however, I also got my bonus. So when I placed in those bonuses, I got this. So. Pretty good. Two, four, six, eight. 
10, 10 bonuses. I ain't complaining about that. And you guys can see as well, my stamina is replenished. So I can take this guy on a full round of quests right now. So that's my video for today. Hopefully this, this has shed some light on some of the concerns that you guys were having when it comes to questing, how much you can make, kind of the overall outlook on this. Um, I, like I said, I'm still a new player when it comes to DeFi Kingdoms, but if you did like this video and got some value, like the video guys, because it helps the, the, you know, the channel a ton. I am trying to get to a thousand subscribers and your support is very much appreciated. Have a good day, everyone. Good luck. And maybe I'll see you guys in DeFi Kingdoms. Peace out.